Newly discovered video footage has shed further light on the events leading up to the asteroid strike of 2015. Pieced together by conglomerate data scientists, the clip shows US President Donald J. Trump meeting other world leaders just months before the event. The summit was called to discuss Trump's plan to divert the approaching asteroid so that it impacted an unpopulated region in the Sahara Desert, a strategy now widely believed to have saved billions of lives. Our history correspondent Naomi Giatas reports. <laughs> They say that when you're about to die, your whole life flashes before your eyes. All I saw was Epi Stomo, the man who murdered me, watching me fall to my death and smiling. By the way, dying sucks. Being resurrected is no picnic either. She'll need to be on anti-necrotics for the rest of her life, but physically, she's made amazing progress. And mentally? Not so good. I get it. She must be in shock. She needs time to recover. I'm afraid it might be something a little bit more complicated than that. 
Eric has hardly said a word since she regained consciousness. We can't actually tell if she remembers what happened to her. She remembers. That's the problem. Mm. We quite literally mended her broken heart, and yet we didn't. She needs to find herself some anger for what that bastard did to her and to my son. Once she's found that rage inside her, then she'll be fixed good enough. Then she'll be ready to do what she does best, to hunt him down. I think the only emotion she's capable of right now is emptiness. She's going to need very affectionate care, Miss Certain. I'll look after her, Dr. Nesperon. She can stay with me until she's better. I have plenty of space. I just heard back from my contact in the bureau. He has a name for us. Bellatristic. He's way up in the calm, and he oversees official history. He's been buying up that fake footage from Stomo, showing on the feeds. So hire a hit team and go get him to talk to you. I'm assuming you can afford that, if you had the money to waste on putting me back together. This is the man who took my son we're talking about. He also took your niece. In coder circles, they were known respectively as the Eye and the Quill. The Quill was a genius deepfaker. The Eye could access all the old media formats the Kong had declared obsolete part of their digital hygiene policy, officially. But really, so no one would know that the collapse of our climate was the result of human negligence. And there's no such thing as a hit team for hire when it's the Kong you want them to go after. This is personal. I need Varheid. Varheid died when a 15 meter antenna went all the way through her body and destroyed her heart. I know this is hard for you. I know that you're hurting. I want you to take as much time as you need to recover. I keep seeing it in my head. Over and over. I keep seeing him looking down at me as I fall. Looking into me. Watching me know. He took everything from me. Then take it all back. So what's that? That's the shower, dear. You have that much water? It's a hobby. Let me show you something I had made for you. Very pretty. And very strong. The best graphene nanofibers that money can buy. Nothing will penetrate it. No nanofibers for the chest. There, there. You just can't see them. Why don't you try it on? Take it out for a test drive. I have the address for Stomo's apartment. I've been there already, but your eyes might be better than mine. You belong on the rooftops of the edges. Perhaps when you're back on them, you'll start to feel normal again.
They say that sometimes less is more. Less isn't more. Less is just less. But sometimes less is better. Central city residents have been advised to remain in their dwellings for another two weeks whilst the particulate cloud passes. Today on the show we'll be discussing the question, is life a game? I'm joined in the studio by everyone's favorite NPC, Maggie Walters, sponsored today by NOS Clear Nasal. Clean inhales every time. And still I see him. Still he invades my thoughts. Still I want him. Pre-event video footage uncovered last week showing former US President Donald Trump personally arresting software magnate William Gates over malicious code inserted into millions of personal computer operating systems has been established today as authentic. The footage, originally recorded onto magnetic tape in 1998, was examined by media specialists event processing and declared genuine following the identification of several key artefacts. A conglomerate spokesperson welcomed this verification, saying that the footage is an important record of the event which led to the present digital hygiene policy. Deep Squall. Still, I want him. Sometimes you have to turn the music up loud to drown out the voices. When that doesn't work, you look for other ways to turn up the volume. And when that doesn't work, you start to realize there's an empty pit right in front of you, just waiting for you to look into it. Do you think I opened the door to that bastard? 
I let him into my apartment. He must have used what I said to help him find Ahad. He would probably have found her in any case. Don't beat yourself up. I even invited him to share my shower with me. Ugh. At least you didn't invite him into your head. Or heart. Oh? I fell in love with him. It was like the sun had finally come out. And now it's disappeared again. Now it's like sunlight never existed. You will get over him. You just need more time. He murdered me. Yeah. I don't know how to process that. At least you had your rich sponsor to bring you back to life. I don't know what you'd call this existence. But it's not life. In the end, you have to look into that pit. You have to. There's just no getting around it.
But sometimes the pit doesn't claim you after all. Where is Stomo? I know who you are, Bellatristic. I know you buy his media, custom doctors to fit your fake history. I don't care about your storytelling. But I am going to find and kill him, and you're going to tell me where he is, or so help me God, I will add your brain to the decor of this expensive office. You wish to kill him because he killed you, or because he betrayed you? Surely the woman who so casually disposed of the lives of so many of my personnel on her way up to this room doesn't hold a grudge about being disposed of herself. Where is Stomol? Mr. Stomol is many things, but a fool is not one of them. I, of course, do not deal directly with him, Ms. Jonsen. Then you will know the name of a person who does. He sends us his content using a complex combination of encrypted proxy servers. Believe me, I would like to know his whereabouts just as much as you would. Perhaps we can come to a mutually agreeable arrangement. This is bullshit. Stomach sending you exactly what you wanted all along. The eye transcodes old media files and the quill manipulates them so they resemble your version of history. Our version of history does not require Mr. Stomor's assistance. We have plenty of skilled creators of our own for that. We purchase his content because we have no choice in the matter. Fear not, Miss Jonsen. I will answer all your questions, just not in this space. Welcome to the Inversum. Remove your mask and smell the air, Miss Jonsen. It's quite something to experience for the first time. I don't need to smell pixels. As you wish. 
but I want you to understand the full complexity of the environment in which you're standing. These are not just pixels surrounding you. The inversum simulates the world at the molecular level. Every plant you see here is growing, feeding, photosynthesizing and ultimately reproducing. The heat you feel on your skin will be evaporating water into the air which will rise on thermal currents and collect in the atmosphere. When enough water vapor has collected and condensed, it will rain. And when it rains, you will feel wet. Just as when it snows, you will feel cold. There is no detail we cannot emulate. What I want you to understand is that we have no need whatsoever for a man and two children, whatever skills they might have, when it comes to depicting what we wish to depict. We can depict whatever we want to depict. No, Miss Johnson, we purchase Mr. Stomol's materials not because we need or want them, but because if we do not purchase them, then he will inevitably find someone else who will. Someone who has a less useful view of the function of history than we do. You mean someone who knows the truth about what really happened to the climate? Someone who wants the facts to be known rather than your bullshit meteorite story? You speak about facts and truth as though they are the same thing. They are not. Facts are what happened, whereas the truth is what needs to be. The brutal facts of Victorian life barely register in the picture postcard versions of that period we so routinely consume in every costume drama to fill the nostalgia feeds. But do we hear historical outcry over these depictions? We do not, because the everyday need for this attractive aesthetic and the pleasure it brings outweighs any benefits that accuracy might add. This is bullshit. Truth is merely the fiction that we choose to believe. We remember only the details which fit it. So what is this place? Another luxury playground for the rich? In time, the Inversum will be offered to every resident of Central City and its peripheral communities. This goal is the primary and priority focus in the conglomerate's strategy. To provide a place of daily ecological respite from climate stress. Some will use it to play in, some will use it to live in. Some will use it for reflection and contemplation, or just for the experience of joy. Escapist fantasy. The real world is broken, so you manufacture a fake one. You would deny the most impoverished a chance to escape from the harsh realities of their existence. A chance to be something or someone more than who they are. Maybe even the chance to correct past crimes against them. No. Please. Not here. Would it not be therapeutic to do to him that which he did to you? No. But surely a healthier resolution than coming here with the intent of taking your life. You 
bastard. I can make him plead on his knees for your forgiveness. Think about how good it would feel to kick apart his begging hands and push him over the edge. To watch him falling as he watched you. To smile upon his corpse as he smiled upon yours. He watched me so he could see me realizing. Without that moment of recognition, it would be nothing. Perhaps that understanding by itself is important progress. Don't pretend that you care about my well-being. I would not insult your intelligence by pretending that I care about you as a person. I do not. I do care about you as a resource. I want you to find Stomol just as much as you want to find him. I need you to be well in order to achieve that. You will not achieve that through such suicidal strategies as breaking into conglomerate offices and killing every guard you encounter. You need to be in better control of your anger. They're waiting for you, sir. Thank you. Inform them I am in discussion with an important asset and I will be with them shortly. I'll let them know, sir. Miss Jonsson and I have one final destination to visit. Research suggests that ocean beaches offer a highly effective environment for humans... You don't want Stomo. He's no threat to you without the kids. It's the kids you want. I'm not giving them to you. We have no interest in your niece, Miss Jonsson. But you're right that we do want the boy. What we want is to remove him from the subversive influence of his mother. A young man of his talent should be properly nurtured and trained to put his skills to good purpose. He is being denied his right to achieve and to thrive by her. She is only interested in how his abilities can further her own privileged objectives. Beaches, as I was saying, offer a highly effective environment for human recuperation. I don't recall giving you my consent to change what I'm wearing. You will likely learn the inventory interface very quickly and then you'll be free to change back if you prefer. In the meantime, I want you to experience all this simulation has to offer. And I can do a lot more than merely change your clothing. Are you done with dressing me up as your doll yet? I will leave you to explore this setting for yourself. If you remain unmoved by it at the time of my return, I will arrange for your disconnection immediately. Do whatever you please here. Possibly it will bring you some peace.
You do realize you can eat and drink in here, right? Uh, no. No, I didn't realize that. How is that possible? You felt the water here, right? You felt the sand on your skin? You did that, right? Everyone does the bathing thing on their first visit here. I did. So eating and drinking is just feeling more stuff, but on the inside. And tasting stuff. Still just a bunch of input. Still just a bundle of wires. I'm Totus, and you must be Vorhide, right? Totus. I think I've heard of you somewhere. You don't have to say that, but thanks anyway. A hacker, right? If you feel compelled to condense everything I do into a single word, then I suppose that one will do. But this place is wrong by the Kong. I thought it was universally acknowledged that hackers find their way into places they're not technically supposed to be in. But sure, let's hear your definition of the term. Why are you here? For you, Varhide. You and I need to have a conversation. About what? About truth. About facts. You do know what facts I'm talking about, right? Why should I care about what happened to the planet? What happened has happened. It can't be undone. Lies can always be undone. I don't like the Kong any more than you do, but we have to move forward. We only ever really move forward when we understand who we are, where we are, and why we're there. You really think every downthrown person gives a damn about that? They sure as hell won't give a damn about it if the only information they have is Bellatristic's fiction of convenience. I think I'll look at the drinks menu now. Let's drink later. I want to swim whilst I'm here. We probably shouldn't swim drunk, right? But it's dark now. No better time of the day to swim in. Someone once told me that the word consider means to be with the stars. You can only really see something properly when you look down on it from the heavens. That's beautiful. Consider this. What if the Kong only really wants what people of power and privilege have always wanted through the ages? A narrative which maintains your status quo. The Kong will always be in power. Nothing you or I can do will change that. That's not true at all. Everything ends. It's just a question of when. I only want two things. The first is to get my knees back. And the second? Kill Stomo. I remember when I first heard about you, Farhide, the Truth Hunter. You were word of mouth only. For a long time, I thought you didn't actually exist. Maybe that version of me only ever existed in your head. You're a symbol. That's why the Kong want you with them. I'm not with them. I'm not with anyone. I work alone. Stop fighting me, Erica. I'm trying to help you. If you really want to help me, then get me the hell out of this place. We're working on that. We don't yet know where they're holding you. We only got word that you were in here a couple of weeks ago. Weeks? I've only been here a few hours. Maybe it took them that long to come up with the script they thought might convince you. And maybe this is your clever way of gaslighting me. I know you're hurting bad. I know what Stonewall did to you. I know you feel like you can't trust anyone anymore. 
he saved my life, and then he murdered me. He waited for me to open up to him, and then he threw me away like trash. He watched me, Todas. He watched me fall. He watched me die. Use that anger and turn it into something good. I don't want good. I just want to make him suffer. Killing Stonewall won't help you. In the end, there's only one cure that works for pain like yours. I don't care. And I don't want or need to be cured. Just let me be with you, Varhide. That's all I ask for now. You can't save me, Todas. I'm knocking on the gates of hell. Then I'll sit with you, Erica, whilst you wait for them to open. Your heart rate and blood Jesus. pressure suggests you have rested well during your time in here. Don't you people ever knock? People? Who else have you been speaking to? Nobody. But would it be asking too much for some respect for my privacy? You are embarrassed about me seeing some differently colored pixels? They're my pixels, not yours. I am encouraged by your ownership of your identity in here. It would seem you are making good progress. Spare me your patronizing praise. I have no investment in this artificial playground of yours. You promised to release me from this place, so release me from this place. Do we have an agreement concerning Mr. Stomol? We do not. The Inversum is not so fake as you might believe. In fact, you have occupied it, since surgeons on our payroll replaced your destroyed heart and brought you back to life. Bullshit. Every moment you recall since then has been in here, and many besides that you don't recall including several successful suicide attempts. Get me out of this place. And you can go to hell. As you wish, Miss Johnson. As you wish. You have made excellent progress, Miss Janssen. We'll need to see you once a week for the next six weeks and monthly after that for the next year or so. But barring that, I see no reason why you shouldn't go home today. We're preparing a meds package for you to take with you. It's extremely important that you read and follow the schedule very carefully. And you're sure Verity Certain hasn't been in contact with you about me? As I explained to you before, I'm afraid we haven't heard anything from anyone going by that name. And you say my medical bill was paid for by the conglomerate? A charity, Miss Janssen, which receives funding from the conglomerate. So they could hook me up to their digital prison and do their best to brainwash me? 
No. Aren't you doctors supposed to take some sort of oath to not harm people? As I said before, you've been in a coma for over six months, Miss Janssen. I just knew I'd find you hanging out in a bar of some description. I was waiting for you for the drink you promised we'd have together. That shows remarkable self-restraint, Miss Janssen. I'm so happy to see you. And I you. But we have to move quickly. It's time to get you out of here. I tried all the channels I know, but I couldn't find a trace of you anywhere. Well, no. I think it's safe to assume they wouldn't want to write someone like me into this place. Into this place? What do you mean? 
He told you he'd release you back into the real world, didn't he? Erica, this is still the inversum. You're still in a sandbox. To see if he's been successful. Exactly. He's testing you to see if you'll do what he wants you to do. In a couple of days, he'll throw you some fake clues about a fake stone mall to see if you deliver a fake eye to him once you're done. And if you don't, then he'll just wipe your memory and start again with a new set of variables. And he'll do this over and over until he's got you programmed just the way he wants you. What do I have to do? And where am I being held in real life? And how will I find you once I've woken up? Will you be near me where I am? Erica, I'm right next to you as we speak. And all I need from you is your consent. Wake me up. When you come around, don't speak. I think we're good. We can speak out here. What is this place? This is Freedom City. Freedom from pollution. For the rich, of course. Well, that was the idea. But where are we? 5,000 meters above the lower wastelands. The breeze you can feel is denser air being pumped out from the vents. How can a city be that high above the ground? It hovers. A fusion generator powers the engines. They suck in air from above and push it out towards the ground. There's no one here. There's a few thousand residents still, but they have to stay indoors now, just like we do on the ground. The particulates made their way up here on the warmed air. The inversum is the Kong's big answer to all our problems now. It seems we missed the shuttle. Fortunately, I have a backup plan. You're probably not going to like it. I don't understand how this technology is possible in 2060. It's not 2060, Erica. We don't know what the exact date is, but it's somewhere between 2089 and 2116. The Kong have been experimenting with ways of manipulating our perception of time for decades. The mandatory four-shift, eight-hour cycle, combined with light pollution, has all but destroyed our circadian rhythm. And the length of a second, as measured by official displays, has almost doubled. That's why everyone's so exhausted all the time. It impairs our critical cognition. We couldn't understand it when we uncovered old mechanical clocks that seemed to tick too fast. We thought they were all broken at first. Somewhat ironically, the underground space is almost directly below us. We'll jump from here and shoot our way down to the base. I have nasal plugs for you. We're going to be exposed to a lot of dense particulates. Jump. Erica, you're going to be okay, I promise you. You'll be clipped to me the whole way down. I... I can't. I just can't. I'm not going to force you. And if we have to, then we'll wait for the next shuttle. 
but the risk will be exponentially higher to us if we do that. By now, they'll probably know that you're missing. It won't take them long to spot us on the camp feeds. We really need to do it this way, and we need to do it now. I need you to trust me. I promise I'll keep you safe. I am not going to let you fall like he did. Then let's do it. I wouldn't let you fall, didn't I? I think these tunnels have been here for over a century. Some sort of mining took place here. The underground's been using this place for the last eight years. It's ideal for our temperature control and air filtration requirements. And the rock makes our EMR virtually undetectable. You literally are an underground history movement. We literally are. This is the main cave. We pieced together the prime timeline here our best guess at what actually happened and when. Our library of physical books and documents is slowly growing, but so much of the critical period was reported only digitally, and we're not good at either locating or decoding pre-hygiene data. We need the eye, Erica. We need him back. We've heard there's a buyer looking to acquire pieces of old computer, video, and audio hardware. We think this guy might be buying things for Stonewall. For the eye. So the eye can source old media files for him to manipulate. Exactly. We have a ton of that stuff in here. We can modify most of it to include components that the eye can use to make a basic radio. So, we've put it on the market in the hope that some of it will make its way to the eye, and he uses it to message us. And until then? We wait, and work on restoring your muscle strength.
We got him. We picked up a repeating binary signal three days ago. Eight eight 8-bit numbers that together form an image of an eye. We triangulated and sent up a drone at a safe distance, and this is what we saw. It's a new building. Once we had the location, a record search established it was printed just three months ago. We believe this is where the eye is being held. It's highly likely that Stomol is there as well. The building is located on a spit in the stretches and overhangs the water on the southern side. A covert land approach is going to be extremely hard due to a complete lack of cover. This is going to require a precision job and we're going to have to plan it down to the very last footstep. Ethan, you'll be devising an approach solution. Omar will be organizing comms. Erica will be on the team to approach the teenagers since she's known to and trusted by the Quill. Let me be clear about this. Ordinary business is now on hold. All of our resources are to be dedicated to this operation. We don't know how long this window of opportunity will remain open to us, so I want a fully actionable plan in front of me within seven days. Why not go tomorrow? We'll go when we have a plan that we know will work and we've had time to prepare for it. We're not going to rush in and mess this up, Erica. You know as well as I do that we might not get another chance. The suit looks good on you. Very Varhide. No nanofibers, I'm afraid. But it does have a graphene layer. It's fine. I know you want to go in straight away. I get it. But you must understand the need to plan this properly, right? We can't get this wrong. We have to do it properly. Well, you said it yourself. We don't know how long these chance will last. We don't. But there's every reason to suppose they'll still be in there in a week's time. What if the Kong also discovers this signal? What if Stomol finds the antenna being used to generate it? We left clues for the eye for the frequency to use. We knew where to look. The Kong won't discover that signal. It's a needle in a haystack. And Stomol? <sighs> I need to know you're with me on this. I'm with you. I do want you on the extraction team, but you're starting to worry me now. Look, I know you have physical skills and training, but so do my security team. Assist Ethan by all means, but you need to understand that if you step outside your role, I will remove you from the operation. Where's Varhide?
we need to go right now. If there's anything you absolutely have to do first, you have one minute to do it in. He told us you were dead. He, he told us he killed you. He did, more or less. Someone paid a lot of money to get me fixed, more or less. I thought I'd never see you again. I'm so sorry I took off like that. You're not to blame for any of this, Ayat. The fault is mine for trusting him. Where is he now? He's upstairs in the shower. Which is why we have to go right now, while he's distracted. It's a short run to the escape hatch. If we do it now, then he won't see us. We picked up your signal. That was good work. I contacted your mother on my way here. She's coming by land with transport. When you drop into the water, you need to swim to land and head east. Run, and don't look back. Follow the coastline as best as you can. She'll be waiting about a mile away. You're coming too, right? I'll, I'll be, be right, right behind you. you. I'm not leaving without you. Ayat, this isn't a game. He might still spot us, and if that happens, I'll need to take care of him. You two need to look after each other. Now promise me you'll do as I say. I promise. As soon as this door opens, we run. Ready?
So, you finally found me. I shall relish taking your body apart, piece by piece. I shall undress you completely of your pretentious identity, even after you tell me where the boy is and you think there is nothing left of you. I shall continue to dismantle you right down to your smallest bones. Only when you submit to my truth will I turn your light off. Truth is not a thing. Truth is a destination. Whatever manipulations you or your deluded successors can come up with, however big, however powerful, however destructive, however brutal, you will never succeed in stopping steps being taken towards it. A conceit which you, at least, will no longer perpetuate. And I wouldn't be too sure about that idea either.